everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really fun card for you today featuring the Retro TV from Tune In. This is a new bundle from Stampin' Up. And I used all my favorite colors here to make this little gift card holder. Um, this is a great gift card holder for um, maybe the movies or maybe like, um, you know, like a Netflix gift card or Redbox gift card, something like that. I think that would be really fun. All right, we've got lots of steps here, and I've done a little bit of it ahead of time. Um, to create these little bars on the TV, you're gonna use this die right here. And I have cut them out of Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape and Daffodil Delight. They're all sticking together. And Pumpkin Pie. And last but not least, we've got our new and fun summer splash. All right, so we're gonna set those aside for a little while. Um, we're going to uh, cut out pieces of the television from silver foil. These little pieces right here um, is this one die that's all connected. Whoops. And we're gonna also cut out the antenna, which is I think my favorite part of the whole set. We're not gonna stamp the TV this time. I have another video where I show the TV being stamped, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog and find those. We're gonna cut this from um, basic black. We're also gonna cut these little guys, these little funky kind of retro shapes. All right, and then from the white, we're gonna stamp the little lightning bolts from Daffodil Delight. So let's do that. There we go. And then we're gonna also cut out, here's the die for that, cut out the inside of the TV from Basic White. So we're doing a lot of die cutting. Um, I've also cut out this Everyday Details Rectangle, which we'll stamp the sentiment on in just a minute. All right, let me see if I can move all this so you guys can see what I'm doing. We're gonna do a lot of this at the same time, okay? Um, the only thing really that we need to worry about slipping around are these lightning bolts. So I'm gonna make sure that they don't move around when I run it through. I don't have my post-it tape here, but post-it tape is a great resource if you have trouble with your dies kind of popping out of place. Get some post-it tape and um, it will keep your dies exactly where you want them. Okay, now take your top plate and set that down on there and we're gonna run this through. All right, now lots of dies here you don't wanna lose. So make sure you get them all back in the right place. Looks like everything cut out perfectly. I love these added details right here for the television. I think this is really, really fun. Okay, come on now. Let's get them all off of our plate. Okay, let's start with our television. I'm gonna take a little bit of liquid glue and we're gonna put this part up. A you need to put it up a little bit high so that you can fit that like, I guess it's like a vent to let the heat out. <laughs> Remember when our TVs look like this? I guess the new ones still have vents on the side, don't they? When they get really hot. All right, and then we're gonna put the knobs right here. And if you get your take your pick tool, use the little putty end, and it really will help you get those picked up. Because I know I struggle getting those picked up with my with my nails. All right, let's get this guy straightened up. Get everything on there. And then we will glue our antenna right here. All right, now for these strips. You know, you can stay in order 
that they are on the die, but really I don't think that you necessarily have to. I just kind of took them and kind of went, you know, like a skinny one and then a fat one. And I cut these at the same time. You can cut through two layers of cardstock at the same time. That's why mine are sticking together. All right, let's get, um, let's see, we, oh, we need a kind of a fatter one here in the middle. So I'll get this one, put that there, and then we're gonna do a yellow. And I think I'll use this one. Now you're gonna have all these left over, so you might as well make multiple cards. Okay. And last but not least, we need an orange. And I think I'm gonna go for a skinny orange right here. Put that right there. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and just kind of arrange them like that. All right, now we're gonna set this aside to dry and we're gonna do a little bit of inking using Melon Mambo ink and a small blending brush. I have a piece of uh, Melon Mambo that is three and three fourths by five. I'm gonna get my grid paper. And the first thing that we're gonna do is stamp these little diamonds. And this is tone on tone stamping. So Melon Mambo ink and Melon Mambo cardstock. And so I'm just gonna go across, these are in the background, so don't worry about them being totally straight. They don't all need to be exactly perfect. And I am kind of, you know, off centering. I don't want it to be an exact pattern. I want it to be kind of, kind of a mishmash. Let's see, we'll do that like that. Do one here and then let's turn it upside down and do, well, maybe we won't. We don't want to stamp over. Well, I think I will because we're gonna cover that up with a TV. There we go. All right, now get your small blending brush. Get some Melon Mambo ink. Run off the extra there first. You don't want too, too much. And then go around the edges. Kind of makes it a little more intense in color. All right, let's bring over the other pieces. I have a um, Melon Mambo card base and I'm gonna fold it in. I have cut off about a half an inch on this side and I'm gonna fold this in as the pocket. Um, I like to take a circle punch and just punch out a little kind of a, you know, a little smile out of that so it makes it easier to get that gift card out. And then I'm gonna just take a little bit of glue, if my glue is gonna work, and run that right there. That may be a little bit too much. I'm always heavy handed with the glue. All right, and then we're gonna fold that down. And we probably need to, to hold it for a second. So you know what, I've got here some clothes pins. I like to use clothes pins to hold these so I don't have to stop what I'm doing to wait for the glue to dry. All right, now on the inside, I have a piece of this gray paper. I thought it kind of looked like, you know when your TV goes to fuzz? You guys know what I'm talking about? I thought that kind of resembled that. Um, so we're gonna put that on the inside. It's from the Charming, or the Lily Pad Lane Designer Series paper, the whole duck suite. And so we're not using it for ducks today. We're using it for TV kind of a background. All right, and then I have a piece of basic white that I'm gonna stick on as well. And we're gonna stamp, let's see if I can remember what I did. Nope, we're not gonna stamp, we're gonna adhere those funky little shapes. Those kind of, they look like maybe they're from the 60s, right? And you know what would be perfect here that I don't have are basic black dimensionals. 
they would go perfectly with this because then you wouldn't have to worry about it poking out the white part, poking out. All right, I'm gonna put one there like that. All right, I hope that this is still drying. Let's take this. I also have a strip. When I cut that piece down, it was uh, four by five and a fourth, and I had this strip left over, so I cut it down to one by five, and we're just gonna make an angle, the ends at an angle, and we're gonna put that right there. And I am gonna, oh, we need to stamp our sentiment, don't we? We're gonna stamp our sentiment, happy birthday, in Melon Mambo as well. And it fits just perfectly right there. All right, and I'm gonna take my adhesive, put a little bit of adhesive on the left side and stick that coming out from behind my television. Now we'll put three dimensionals on the back. One, two, three. And last time I put my TV a little bit higher and I didn't have quite enough room for my little lightning bolt. So I'm gonna try to make it come down a little bit. All right, your time is up. I hope that you're dry. Let's fold this in. Again, dimensionals. And I'm gonna put three right here. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna set that, we're gonna center it right about there, like that. All right, so now let's see if we can fit in our lightning bolts. One, two, let's see, we'll do the first two. I was brave putting that glue down first, wasn't I? We'll do that one and we'll do, let's do this one like that. And then we'll put one right here going this way like that. All right, perfect, they fit better this time. So make sure that TV's just a little bit lower down. All right, and then the last thing that I did, I added a few rhinestones. We'll put one here and one there, and how about just one up here like that? All right, there you have it, guys, a fun birthday gift card holder. I think this would be a great teenager gift. Um, you know, you could always change the colors if you felt like you needed to change it to give it to a guy, change the colors um, to orange or yellow, something bright and fun, and uh, then you could uh, use it for a man too. All right, you guys, have fun stamping. Let me know if you have questions. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, and um, get that free PDF. There's measurements, supplies, and two other tune-in projects. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.